Norfolk Southern Conductor Training Day 1. Welcome to day one of conductor training at McDonough, Georgia. I told you guys I would get you a follow-up of how things went for the day. So I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos just because there's a lot to cover. Um, I'll release them pretty quickly so you're not waiting around for part two and three and all those things. But um, starting out with day one, got a bunch of information when we first got in there. Um, and also the biggest thing was the syllabus. So this will give you a rundown of how things went uh, when we went in. So let's start here. Conductor training. A1 through L1 are groups of conductors that are going through the program currently. There were 140 to start out with uh, when this program started. Um, the welcome from 7 to 8 was just general introductions, letting us know who our trainers were going to be, uh, some general expectations of the program. Um, and then, for example, I'll walk you down my section. I'm in F1. So I started out with paperwork. Uh, they had us do our I-9 and turn in all our paperwork for that. Um, we also got some login information uh, during that time period. Um, they explained safety briefings uh, in the morning and then moved on to the work sim for us. The work sim is your hang test. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard about this, and I definitely want to do a little bit more focus on that um, in these videos coming up because it's a lot different than what I expected. Um, no matter what you get told, there's there's just a lot that you have to prepare for. Um, so the work sim, let's, let's just go from there. When it comes to the hang test, you're going to have to go ahead and hang from a ladder um, that's stationary, it's static. And... Um, you're encouraged to bring your own gloves, that kind of thing, if you'd like to, but they do provide a set for you. Um, so a lot of these people will come down with these. These are like Harbor Freight mechanics glove style things. Uh, the biggest suggestion is getting a leather glove that's going to be pretty good dexterity and pretty comfortable. This is a good thing for when you're working on cars and, and on the station. Not great for the hang test. Not great for the hang test. Perfect. That sounds completely contradictory, but hear me out. When we went through the hang test for the day, I can tell you out of just the group that I went, 11 people failed their hang test twice on the same day. The reason I'm stressing this, I failed the hang test on the first try. Why? Because I went on with these, these mechanics gloves that have a little bit of velvet underneath here. And about a minute into my hang on this one here, my finger slipped and I fell off of it. Luckily, I got to try it again the same day and got it taken care of. So my suggestion when you do the hang test, make sure that you use the gloves that are provided. They've got a, a kind of a sticky, gritty. If you've ever worked at Amazon, these are the same gloves that they have there. It's kind of a textile that's on it.